Hello there and welcome to Rabbit Types. Uh, this is a video series where I take a look at your pictures of your rabbits and we try to determine what breed your rabbit is. And today um, I'm continuing on with my Amber series, we'll call it. Amber had sent me pictures of all three of her rabbits and she really only had a question about one, which was Benjamin, uh, which if you look for the tri-color or try mini lop video with Benjamin in it, you'll learn quite a bit about um, uh, a neat combination of genetics that he had. Uh, but she had also sent a couple pictures of her other rabbits and I decided to do them as well because they are uh, good teaching uh, videos where I can help people kind of understand rabbit genetics a little bit more and colors and breeds etc. And today we're looking at Clara and uh, as Amber already knows, Clara is a lion head and a lot of people are confused as to whether or not they have a lion head or a Jersey woolly and Clara is actually a very good example of a lion head, uh, very clean, um, very clearly a lion head. Um, there's some things that she's missing that you know if somebody were to try to show her she wouldn't have but she has a very clear mane around her face. Now a Jersey Wooly will have a fairly uh, short, a lot of short hair around the face, uh, very little hair around the face, and then a poof of hair on the body. A lion head will just have the hair right around the face, it'll come up on the cheeks like that, and then any other longer hair they'll get right along the flanks here. Their back will always have short hair on a lion head, unless it's a um, extremely woolly uh, lion head, but normally they should just have hair going right along here, long wispy hair, long wispy hairs around the face, and then the back is has fairly short hair. So Clara is definitely a lion head. She just doesn't have a lot of flank hair, which is fine. And uh, But what's interesting about Clara is her color. And uh, this is one of my favorite patterns on rabbits, which is called a harlequin. Now I've done a couple of videos on harlequins, and uh, Benjamin we actually found out in a previous video, uh, Amber's other rabbit, Benjamin, is a harlequin as well. Uh, but this is the first time we've done a magpie harlequin. And I'm going to show you real quick the difference. But first of all, notice that the body is white, and then you have these black stripes. Now, I want to be very clear that when you are not, when, when a breeder is breeding actual harlequins to breeds, because a harlequin is a breed and it is also a coat pattern. So when they are breeding for harlequins, you, you get very, very good harlequin markings. Uh, when there's other breeds that have harlequin markings, they are rarely what's considered good markings. They're very sparse. And somebody could look at this picture and say, now I've seen your videos about um, English spots and brokens and, and what's the difference? And the difference is, is that on a broken, you get a very clear pattern. There will be spots where you can see here we are seeing stripes. But on a broken, you'll have spots right along the spine a couple of spots on the side, the ears will be colored, except for in Benjamin's, Benjamin was a special case and we explained that, and then there will be a butterfly on the nose and then eye rings, a ring of color around each eye. It's a very clear pattern on a broken. On a harlequin, um, it's just wherever the spot, wherever the stripes happen to lay. There's usually not a very clear pattern. You can see that uh, Clara does not have color on both ears. She does not have a butterfly on the nose. She doesn't have white there. Um, she's got stripes back here, not spots. So it's pretty easy to tell that she is a Harlequin. Um, most of the Harlequins we've covered up till now have been Japanese Harlequins, which means that they have an orange body with uh, colored stripes. And I say colored stripes because harlequins can actually come in four different uh, colored, well, they come into two varieties, the Japanese, which is the orange body, the magpie, which is the white body, but then the stripes themselves can be one of four different colors, either black, blue, chocolate, or lilac. And um, Clara here is a black magpie, but I'm going to take you over to Google 
images and we'll take a look at a couple of um, harlequins so you can kind of see the difference. Here's a harlequin with an orange body, black stripes. Again, the stripes are very, very clear. Here's actually a good example here. This is a broken. This is not a harlequin, but you can see where there's color on the nose, color on the ears, around the eyes, down the back, and then spots on the side. And these are spots, not stripes. Those are stripes. Those are spots. So this is broken. This is harlequin. Now this is a black Japanese harlequin. Again, Japanese means the body color is orange. Magpie means, and this is a good example here, magpie means the body color is white. Now this is a chocolate magpie. The stripes are of the chocolate color. Next door we have a really nicely marked Japanese, black Japanese harlequin. Uh, let's see what else we have. Here is a, another uh, black magpie. Magpie again means the body is white and then black stripes. Here is a chocolate magpie. Uh, I always like this picture. That's a very nice uh, Japanese, black Japanese harlequin there. And usually you see the black types. Usually you'll see the white with the black. Um, the second most common is probably blue after that chocolate, and then the rarest is a lilac. Uh, and it's really hard to tell the difference between lilac and blue unless you really know what you're looking for. But this is a black magpie. Now notice again, this is actually uh, Harlequin the breed. So they bred it to have the um, really clear, distinct markings. But when you put that same coat pattern in a breed that doesn't necessarily have to conform to the coat pattern. Like here is a Harlequin Lop of some sort. And you can see, yeah, he's almost got the half black face, but you know, his, his striping isn't quite as distinct and clear as it could be. Um, trying to see if there's, here's, that bunny is not a Harlequin breed. It looks like it might actually be a mini Rex. I can't tell real well from this picture. But, you know, again, the striping isn't real clear. It isn't, you know, it's not checkerboard like how this one is. Um, and then the half black face is really desirable in the breed. So when you get outside of the breed Harlequin, the striping goes all over the place. And that is what we see with Clara. That her striping is not real clear, it's not real distinctive, but it is there. She has the white body, which makes her a magpie, and she has black spots, which make her a black magpie. So Clara is a black magpie lion head. Uh, I hope you found that helpful. I hope that either you can uh, now better identify your lion head or better identify the markings that your rabbit has. And um, if you want me to take a look at your rabbit, you can send pictures to the email address that will come at the end of this video. Uh, please also send the weight of your rabbit, uh, what breed you think it is or that other people have told you, what country you're from, um, and then also if there's something distinctive about the rabbit that I can't see in the pictures, like such as blue eyes, um, if there's white tip, tip to your, like if it's a black rabbit with white tips on the hair but it looks like a highlight in the picture. Um, you know, if there's a white paw that I can't see, that sort of thing. Make sure you add that in the description as well. And also let me know how old the rabbit is in the pictures, because that makes a difference. Sometimes when they're younger, they'll look like a different breed. Sometimes I have a hard time telling, um, because I'm not seeing the rabbit in person. When you look at pictures, sometimes it's a little hard to tell. So again, that email address will be at the end of this video, and we'll see you in the next video.